Hello everyone, my name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I am going to explain you about a project which I have built on top of Databricks. Okay, so this is the latest project which I have built recently and a lot of people are already started building this project and I would like to explain you the architecture and the, the use case of the project so that you know if you like you can go and you know and enroll into the project and you can also build by your own. Okay, so let me quickly share the screen and the project is procurement data automation. So as you guys know that, you know, companies are moving towards AI. They are taking some big steps into the into Gen AI world. They are building some projects and asking their employees to learn, learn you know, AI and other stuff, agentic AI and, and all these things. So what I have done you know, I have built this project on top of free addition of Databricks. Okay, so the architecture is, we have some files which is present in the Google Drive. You can also assume these files are present in ADLS or S3 bucket. Okay, and then what we have to do, we have to bring these files from Google Drive into the staging layer of unity catalog which is a volume so you, if you can see over here i have written here staging volume which is purchase order pdf good receive pdf and invoice pdf so i will be creating all these folders into the volume and then you know putting the files into the form of pdf right once it is done then i will use here dlt to bring to extract the pdf information or content into the text format, unstructured PDF text, which is a form of delta. Okay, you can say this is a bronze layer. Now, once everything is done, now I have a data, but it is not structured. I have to convert into the into a structured way. Then here I am using LLM foundation models. So we have, you know, AI query, we have uh, AI summarize, we have AI underscore extract, all these functions we have it. So I'm using these functions in order to extract the informations out of the PDF and make it a structured table and which I'm saving into the silver layer. On top of it, what I am doing, I am also, I'm also doing some cleaning. Okay, let's say, you know, if a date is coming into the string format, so I'm converting it into a, into a date format or, you know, we have some uh, values which is in decimal then i am changing it into a float or decimal okay right now once I, everything is done then i am using embedding i am creating vector such endpoints and then or creating all these indexes and then on top of it i am writing a ll i am using a foundations model and you know uh, and writing some prompts on top of it to validate the data po gr and invoice and saving the data into the gold layer and then on top of that, I'm creating some dashboards. So in this course, what you're going to learn is Unity Catalog, all these notebooks, model serving endpoint. This is nothing but LLM models, pipelines, dashboards, SQL alerts, workflows, governance, like how you can, you know, govern your, give the governance to your, uh, to your data. Okay, very good. Now let's talk and i'll show you the you know uh the project which i have built so see if i go to here workspace this is my project folder you can see we have all these uh you know all these you know notebooks or pipelines present over here see all these things are present over here and we have models we use model serving endpoint also see we have used this um a meta llama and then BGE large we have used. So since we have used here a foundation model, I haven't, you know, I, I, I have not, I have not used or I have not, you know, uh, configured uh, in my system, my, in, in my environment, but since it is a free one, okay, if you want, you can do that too. And uh, then on top of it, I shown you that I, I built some dashboard, right? So if I click over here, you'll see that, hey, I'm I'm having a fancy dashboard, a three-way match report, a discrepancy type frequency, total invoice versus match versus unmatched, category-wise invoice value, and all this stuff, we have it. So it's taking some time to load it. So, you know, uh, yeah, so let me refresh it and it will come up. And if you go over here, I hope that I'm also using here, here some, you know, pipelines. You'll see over here the pipeline. 
right bronze to silver injection to bronze and procurement data automation also here the end to end flow which succeeded in 10 minutes now if i click over here you will see the whole picture of picture of it right we have we have used here pipelines here we have used some notebooks uh you know uh, it is a mix of uh, mix of notebook as well as the pipelines okay and uh daga 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 this is what we have and then in the compute section if i go and if i show you over here you know with a vector search we have these vector search endpoint too right so this is how i have i have used i have built this project and it is gonna be very useful project you will you will be learning an end-to-end uh you know gen ai or vector search reg and you know the mandalorian architecture how the reg and uh, gen ai sits on top of the mandalorian architecture and then with that we have all these courses already going on so this is the course which, which i am talking about database end-to-end -end project build data lake and gen ai and we have all these build this is another project also build gen ai application using databricks then we have data modeling 50 pi spark questions python in interview questions and databricks course and twin microsoft fabric course and so on there are a lot of courses if you want you can enroll into the any of the courses and definitely you're going to learn a uh, new new stuff and um that's it. And if, if you can see, we have more than 30 courses, right? So I hope that you will love it. You will like it and go ahead and try to, and try to, you know, uh, learn something new. And it's very important by end of 2025, you should learn Gen AI, you should learn how to write prompts, you should learn vector search, you, you should learn vector DBs so that you can do something good in 2026. A world is moving towards Gen AI, companies are firing, companies are investing a lot of money in Gen AI things. So better you invest on, invest your time on learning new stuff rather than, you know, learning the old old legacy or old tools okay with that said thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture